Okay, this is my second attempt in trying to make a video of looking at a FM radio schematic, just to try and understand radio better. I'm going to spare creating some kind of intro, but I am looking at this Veleman kit, which is the MK118, and there's a few features if I want to stop and pause and read this. So I am looking at the schematic diagram and once again it has uh, two ICs the LM386N which is an op amp IC and then it has this TBA120 series IC as well which I guess is used in uh, radio and TV and it's got a description which didn't really make a lot of sense to me anyway what I think I've determined, although I could maybe get it wrong, is this uh, FM front end. What looks kind of like a packaged IC is probably this here, although I, it's got inductors in it, and I'm not really seeing any inductors in this package, unless I'm missing it. But anyway, this uh, package looks like a tuner for the antenna. So 90 to 200 centimeters wire, and then the antenna goes in. I don't know if it's fair to call these pins, but it'd be on like pin six, and then it's getting a voltage supply, and it's going through a 100 microfarad capacitor. So if I look to see where that is on the schematic, or at least the assembly manual, and in this picture, then maybe I can. Sorry, then maybe I can further understand this little module. Okay, looking at the assembly manual, um, under electrolytic capacitors, C1 is this 100 microfarad capacitor. And looking at this here, it looks like uh, C1 is this electrolytic capacitor here. So in the schematic circuit this module, which again is probably this here I'm thinking, like I guess this little module is getting its power through this, uh, well from the voltage through this, uh, well it's not through the capacitor but the Going back to ground, it runs through a 100 micro, microfarad capacitor. And VB, well, VB usually refers to, like if you're talking about transistors, voltage at the base. Is there a transistor in this module? I don't know that. I tend to, tend to think that it isn't. And besides, um, the base of a transistor usually has a pretty big resistor on it and this doesn't so I don't think that that's voltage at the base of a transistor VB probably means something else I tried to look up a definition on Google as to what IF out is I didn't find a definition but the IF out goes through a capacitor in to pin 14 of this 14-pin uh, module. Oh, actually, this is an IC. Okay, at this point, I don't know what this all means. But this module I'm kind of interested in because you'll see this in a lot of other uh, electronics, even VCRs and stuff. I don't know if it's the same type of thing. It's got an antenna, IF out, v, v tune. So I don't know if this is the antenna tuner, but this V-tune, this antenna tuner, seems to have some type of voltage divider where it's sandwiched between a 2.2K resistor from the power and another 2.2 resistor to ground and some type of 10K potentiometer in between. This is uh, 
RV2. This is the in-between potentiometer. Again, what does AGC mean with this FM tuner? I, I don't know what it means. And then pins 7, 8, and 9 of this thing, I guess, are going back to ground. But whatever this AGC thing is, it also has a voltage divider where um, well anyway it's got a voltage divider between the power source and two 10k resistors and I cut it off here but just on the bottom of this is the ground okay that's a little better so after this AGC there's a ground and there's this OSC out which is pin one of that module. Okay, moving on to this IC. They've got the, I don't know if that's input frequency, which would kind of make sense because it's coming from an antenna. So you've got the input frequency, or IF, coming from the antenna and then going through a capacitor, 220 picofarad. So here's the picofarad capacitor. So from the tuned antenna out there's going it's going uh, through this little picofarad capacitor which maybe is just a smoothing capacitor and into the input of this TBA120U. Okay so we've got the antenna input going into this IC so that's how it's working and just a quick look tells me that this IC is getting its power like from up here on pin 11 and here's the voltage is that input frequency I don't know that actually makes a difference is this voltage like of the circuit or it's just voltage of the input frequency I don't know but it's going through resistor 22 Okay, well, it's going through resistor 22 and then going through uh, one of these electrolytic capacitors, same as this one here. It's a 100 microfarad capacitor, and that's going back to ground. And we already said that was C1, so now we're looking at uh, C2. So C2 is this capacitor here, so I'm going to guess, I think it makes sense, that this is probably the... Um, well, anyway, it mentions the resistors here, R1, R2 to 22. Or that's the resistance value. Okay, so these are the resistors, and these are the values. Kind of makes sense. So I guess this is 22 ohms. Okay, so once again, just trying to think this through. You've got, you got the antenna coming into this FM module. The IF out is going through a capacitor and into pin 14 of this TBA120U IC and then just starting to take a look yeah is this the power supply for this particular IC I'm not sure is that the voltage of like some type of IF whatever that means or is that the voltage that's powering this IC but anyway uh, we've got a 22 ohm resistor and a 100 microfarad capacitor which just goes back to ground. Well that's a little strange because I don't know when you power something do you have it going directly back to ground? Well probably not. So this is probably not the power supply for this IC. It's maybe VIF. Well, that was okay. Maybe I should go back and look up this TBA120. So here's a picture on uh, Google Images. It says it's some kind of demodulator circuit. I don't know if this is the right one, but it's got 14 pins. 
pin 14 on this one is going through a resistor and back to ground. Uh, through Yeah, resistor, capacitor, back to ground. Okay, well, I'll look at the pin pinouts on this diagram for this uh, TBA120U. VP I think I'd be able to understand this a lot better if I understood what all these little abbreviations mean. I, there's too many of them to understand it. IF in, auxiliary AF in, feedback AF out, IF in, voltage reference, voltage control. Okay, well this is the speaker circuit. So the AF out which I don't know, I could maybe assume is audio frequency out is going through R9 was well, going through a resistor, a capacitor a tuning resistor I guess this is the op amp which I think might only have one op amp in the package and then it's got all these other tweaking pins, I don't know what you call them might be interesting to look at those and then it goes through a capacitor back to ground here and then it also goes through a capacitor to the speaker so I think this is probably the amplifier And then I think this is probably just in the realm of how op amps work. So you've got a capacitor, very small value, very small value resistor going back to ground. And then you've got it also going through a little bit larger capacitor to the speaker. Anyway, before I get carried away, this might be a little bit methodical and boring but I'm going to try and identify each of these components on the picture here. So looking at this again, let me go back and just recap. Okay, so there's the antenna. Then it goes through this FM module. Then the input frequency, I'm guessing, after it's somehow tuned, with a series of voltage divider tuners goes through this capacitor and it goes into pin 14 of the TBA 120U IC and it goes into pin 14 and then it has auxiliary AF input I guess you could maybe hook up another input to this IC just guessing and anyway it goes to AF out so antenna through this FM tuner module through this IC I don't know what it does to it maybe filters it or uh, filters out unwanted frequencies to tune in on a radio frequency and then you basically just have an op amp circuit which is probably just set up to have a proper gain and not create saturation I don't know if that's the right word on the speaker which is probably why you've got this uh, shunt back to ground and then you've got a speaker power so again I said I was going to go through and just identify these on the picture of the device so R9 which is 68k okay well I haven't identified this resistor this R9 I probably could if I put more effort into it but this C8 I did identify which is this capacitor here C8 is 100 nanofarad capacitor so really really small value so I won't even guess at which one this is just in case I got it wrong but then you've got this is the AF out from the TBA 120U IC 
through a resistor, through this really small value capacitor, through the RV1 tuning. Okay, so once again, I know I'm repeating myself, but for my own sake, to keep the thought process together. So, the antenna. Through this an antenna tuner circuit, input frequency out into this IC, then it maybe filters it, demodulate, demodulating circuit, that's what this was actually called, and then it's got the audio frequency out. So I guess now we're just going to have to amplify this after it's been filtered and dealt with. Amplify it. So then it goes through this 68K resistor, pretty high value, then through this capacitor, which is a very small value, probably just to smooth it out, then it goes to RV1 back to ground, and then to the op amp. And RV1 is this volume control here. So this is the FM module. So the antenna is somehow connected to this. Then it's going to this IC. Then it's coming out of pin 14, wherever that goes to. Maybe through a 68K resistor. Maybe it's one of these. I'm not sure. And then through this... Uh, whoops. Well, that's helpful, actually. Through this little capacitor. Then through the volume tuner. Then to the op-amp circuit. So I guess the volume is controlled before it enters into the op-amp. So it's got the AF out through a resistor, and it's got the volume control. So I guess this controls the gain on the op-amp, and maybe this avoids saturation, kind of gives an alternating current, an alternating frequency chance to shunt back to ground or to the speaker. Maybe that's just how a speaker is typically set up. I'm not sure. I haven't studied things enough. And then what's this down here? That kind of covers that. So then there's another schematic diagram here. And it's talking about powering the whole circuit. Okay, so I guess this was good to click on. So I don't know what the switch is called. Maybe it's called... They're just calling it SW1. And this transistor... Well, this is a voltage regulator, VR1. Now this is a little uh, out of order, but apparently one of these little resistor-looking things is not actually a resistor, but it's actually an inductor. It's a choke. I'd like to identify that. L1. Well, anyway, here's the power supply stuff. There's the DC jack switch to turn it on. Here's the voltage regulator. Maybe a diode to prevent voltage spikes. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, but this is the power supply schematic in the circuit, so SK2. Not sure what that is. 12 volts VDC power DC jack. So we're talking about just the jack. And then it goes through the switch, through the diode, or it actually goes to the diode first. Or maybe the switch actually switch, switch one. I'm not sure, but it goes through the diode. Maybe this is where the switch is here. I'm not sure what SW would be. And then it goes uh, back to ground. Through a capacitor. And then this VIF. Well, that VIF was associated with pin 11 on this TBA120U. So maybe this is like um, an overall diagram, which conceptually shows how the whole circuit is behaving. Not sure. VR1. VR1 was the voltage regulator. I guess that's the model of VR1. Voltage regulator 1 is this UA78L08, which has three pins in, out, and ground. 
This has got a capacitor going right back to ground. It's strange to me because, I mean, doesn't you... In a case like this, doesn't the power just shunt all the way back to the ground and not even go through the resistor? Never really understand something like this. And then anyway, um, the voltage supply, power supply, is coming in through this way into C13 and R7. Well, here's C13, which looks, looks like an electrolytic capacitor. So C13 is another one of these uh, 100 microfarad capacitor. 100 microfarad capacitor C13 is also a microfarad capacitor. Well, okay, interesting. There's uh, oh, that's the light emitting diode. That's why I was only seeing one diode on the drawing. So here's like the power supply diode. Not 100% sure how that works. So then this is LD1. Here's LD1. So after the voltage regulator, it goes through a resistor, 2.2 K resistor, and back to ground. Interesting. So we've got the VR1 over here. And I guess it goes through this resistor and back to ground, sending a signal way over that way. Again, voltage regulator through resistor into this light emitting diode. Oh, okay. I'm going to guess that the power is this here, the plus. That's where the positive voltage is coming in. And here's the negative with the ground. And then, because of this voltage regulator here, and then like this diode that co goes along with it, and the switch, and the LED check light, then it's actually supplying the power to the rest of the circuit here. So all the other voltage is being sent maybe to the rest of the circuit here. Just guessing because you've got this LED check light. And if we go back to the circuit, like here's the antenna and antenna tuner, so maybe the power to use the antenna is coming in through here, through this capacitor, which was C1. Here's C1, so the antenna's coming in somewhere like over here but then it's getting, here's the antenna, so then it's getting power into this FM module somehow. It's getting power, but then the power is coming through like the DC 12 volts in, and I think this is sending it to the circuit. And then the circuit is pretty much starts off by getting its power over here. And it also looks like the op amp is also hooked up to the power coming out of the voltage regulator power supply kind of thing. I don't think I found a really great pinout diagram of this TBA120U IC, but maybe an important pin to consider is pin 11 because it's getting this plus VIF into 11, pin 11. I don't know how correct this is. I'm thinking it probably is correct. TBA120U specs, supply voltage is pin 11. 10 volts to 18 volts, recommended 12 volts. Well, that's kind of consistent. Here's the voltage P, I don't know, power. So voltage, but I guess voltage of the input frequency. What's VIF? Okay, I'm not seeing it on this chart, but in this particular schematic, it says pin 1 is going to ground. And the TBA120U, pin 1 is going to ground. Maybe I'll try to go through looking at all these different pins. The voltage reference and voltage control is pin 4 and 5. Well, it looks like it must be the same 
IC because here's pin 4 gain adjustment reference so voltage reference and gain adjustment pins 4 and 5 this IC the TDA 120U has an adjustable AF output it's not being used I don't know so this adjustable AF out just hangs loose I don't know where that's going but apparently adjustable AF out um, and here's the pin 8 on this diagram A AF out adjustable gain does that mean you could hook up a potentiometer and somehow do an adjustment after all inside this IC it looks to me like this is maybe an op amp even inside here okay on the TBA 120U it uh, from the antenna to this FM tuner module into this TBA 120U IC and out again to the op amp and then speaker it has this AF out on pin 12 so whatever pin 12 is here it's sending the, the signal to the op amp again pin 12 on this IC going out to the op amp and speaker circuit and pin 12 is written as the AF out after it's gone through this op amp and hmm. who knows okay pin 11 I talked about this already I'm still trying to figure this out I'm not gonna say I understand it but pin 11 is the voltage P so looking at yeah voltage supply pin 11 pin 11 is here and it has a what's this a diode like a breakover diodes I should look up this symbol try to remember what this type of diode is but that's the power and I guess the power is coming up maybe through that voltage regulator supply because it's not really defined so then you've got it coming in to 11 so what is VIF I'm thinking maybe it's just this um, maybe it's the power oh here 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 I think I figured this out so you have the power supply positive and ground through this diode and I think what's maybe happening is that the power is being kind of divided up into different voltage levels so you end up having an output of this VIF and you have an output of this voltage regulated because this is the voltage regulator voltage out regulator here so if this is 12 volts DC and you're maybe using a AC to DC inverter wall ward plug you're plugging into your wall then you can still get uh, even though it's going through a diode which probably doesn't affect anything it's DC maybe it's just a safety thing you're still getting 12 volts that's probably 12 volts whatever the power supply is supplying it's unadulterated it's just whatever that is sending it out and then you have the voltage regulator sending another voltage supply out now what is that what is the voltage regulator actually supplying it voltage out well I should look that up so let's look up this um, voltage regulator UA 78 L 8 okay so here's a, a Texas instrument voltage regulator it's got some other letters after it UA 78 L 8 and then ACPK so let's okay well, I'm not even gonna look at the data sheet but it says the voltage regulator is providing 8 volts at 100 milliamps I might want to pause this screen but it says the UA 78 L O series of fixed voltage linear regulators is designed for a wide range of applications so it's fixed it doesn't change 
Well, I'm going to read it because it might be helpful to understand the circuit. These applications include on-card regulation for elimination of noise and distribution problems associated with single-point regulation, as well as for voltage regulation in major appliances. In addition, they can be used for power pass elements to make high current voltage regulators. It's getting a little bit technical. One of these regulators can deliver up to 100 milliamps of output current. The internal limiting and thermal shutdown features of these regulators help to protect the device from over. So I guess there's different configuration packages. This seems to be the one in our circuit, input, common, and output. Well, the UA78L08 is the number on our circuit, I think, UA78L08, and it looks like there's different packages of this voltage regulator. There's the L06, there's the L05, L02, so might I assume that the L08 is actually supplying 8 volts? So I think I just taught myself something. You've got 12 volts DC coming in through the diode, through the switch, through capacitors back to ground, and then this is the VIF is probably 12 volts because I don't really see any resistance unless this is a resistor I don't know um, but this is probably sending out 12 volts and because this is voltage regulated and this is what maybe the output input output or on off probably input output it's probably sending out 8 volts so even though I think on the package of this development kit it says it's 12 volts, I stand to be corrected, but I think it's sending out 8 volts to the circuit. So probably 12 volts are being sent to this IC, and the V plus is probably 8 volts. So this antenna is probably getting 8 volts, and that's a high-powered IC, but that the IC, I guess, is getting uh, 12 volts with a little bit of resistance, not much. And it sounds like the op amp is getting a full 12 volts as well to make it as loud as possible. Well, that was interesting. I think I learned something. What I was hoping to find out is the specifics as to how the radio circuit's actually working. And maybe I should go watch some basic YouTube videos on how a radio works because I don't know that my questions in that regard were actually answered. But Maybe it has something to do with this tuning circuit. Now, I actually built this kit, if you're watching. And I was frustrated, first of all, because I, I didn't actually get the radio to work very well. And that's maybe because it was like one of the first kits I built way back three or four years ago. And I was frustrated because I was hoping to really learn how radio works and come away with an understanding. And I think a lot of the let's just say technology, for lack of a better word, that, cre that, that filters radio signals as a receiver is actually contained in here with the inductors and tuning capacitor is probably what that is. And so when you buy this kit, you don't really seem to learn how a radio actually works. That's kind of ironic. Anyway, I'll say this again, just because I'm a little bit proud of myself now. Um, so you've got the antenna, antenna tuning circuit, going into the IC, which is also powered with 12 volts. This was powered with 8 volts, the antenna tuning circuit. Then you have it being sent out to the op amp, which is given as much power as possible, which is probably 12 volts. I suppose if you have a working kit, you could test this out and and hook up a multimeter just to test the voltages on the antenna, on the IC, and on the op amp just to see if that's true. And if you're supplying 12 volts, this maybe, I would guess, would be 12 volts, 12, or sorry, 8, 8, and 12. And it's an 8-volt voltage regulator.